Today, we've been hired to demo an old house foundation. It's a beautiful summer morning here in Lone Oak County. And oh boy guys, today's gonna be a fun one for us. We're gonna be working here with a construction company and today's job, like I mentioned, we are gonna be doing some demo work, which should be a lot of fun here. So let's get the 2020 uh, Chevy 3500 warmed up here for a few minutes. And let's go pick up our uh, machine at the yard. We're going to be going to pick up our Takachi skid loader here. I already dropped off the excavator at the job site yesterday. And one of my employees is going to be driving the dump truck here for us. We should have about two or three loads worth of materials. that we're going to be hauling to the local uh, area to dispose of it. But like I mentioned, guys, demo work is going to be so much fun here. Getting to use the skids here to take down some walls and to dig out a foundation is going to be pretty cool here. Now, one thing about this job, guys. I've not actually seen this job in about a month here. I uh, gave the quotes. I think when snow was still on the ground, that's how long ago I got this job here for us. But we've been so busy building garages, building houses, that now we have time to get this one done. This 2020 Chevy Duramax the redesigned model looks pretty sweet here. I'm a huge, huge fan of it, and I really do like it quite a lot here. The crew cab six and a half foot trucks are pretty popular here as well, which is a good thing here. But we got our skid loader, you guys can see, just on a standard 18 foot trailer, and I do just want to hop in it really quickly here. We need to double check the gas, uh, the diesel, awesome, so we're good on that here. And we'll take off the uh, lock here on the tongue and trailer. Keep it coming, keep it coming, right about there, should be good, and oh boy guys, that backup camera sure did make that uh, pretty easy for us here. Now you guys might be asking Square, why are you at a farm? Well, for our construction company, I really did not want to shop here, I just wanted an area to store our machines because I want to be having the machines out working, not collecting dust, and uh, I, we only have enough machines to really uh, keep at jobs here, so <laughs> I thought, hey, why don't we rent... Uh, for a few thousand dollars a month from the farmer instead of getting huge huge shop and uh, having a huge overhead cost Today is Thursday, so I thought hey, why don't we do a throwback Thursday here to FS19? I think we're gonna be continuing these these are a lot of fun here, and I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. My week's been pretty good here. I've been a bit busy, but we have a lot of cool things here in the works, and a new series should be starting later on this week. I think Saturday or Sunday. I can't wait for it. Well, guys, we made it over to the job, and you can see here we got the case excavator. We have the dump truck all ready to go. All right, let's get the ramps lowered down here now. Before we do a quick job walk around, I do want to get both uh, the skid steer and the excavator warming up here. Even though it is warm weather in the mornings, I just want to get uh, the fluids up to operating temperatures here. That's something really important. It keeps the equipment lasting uh, really long here. But here we have it, guys. This is the job here for today. So I guess someone put this foundation in about 20 to 25 years ago and just never built on this land here. It's actually in a really good part of town, really good area here. You guys can see great uh, development that was developed about uh, 10 to 15 years ago here. But this has been like this for so long. And I guess someone came and cleaned up all this. As you guys can see, it looks like pretty okay grass, but now they want to build a new house in this one, although it is old here. It looks to be in pretty good condition. It is a pretty small foundation. So this looks to be just with a block here, so a block foundation should be nice and easy for us to remove. And I, I'm not sure if there's any rebarb in this, but wow, this is going to be a lot of fun here. So what I'm thinking is I probably want it to kind of fall outward. That way we could scoop it up with the buckets a little bit easier than uh, trying to drive on the uh, kind of concrete floor here. But that has to get removed here. And there is some dirt piles around back, which we're just going to kind of nicely grade out this land, get it ready for them uh, to do their job on building a new house here. But hey, uh, let's get to work here. Put the, the camera up on a tripod because this is gonna be a lot of fun. So I think we should probably just try to do a lot of the demo work here. Let's see, let's see. We'll get the excavator as close as we can. And I think for this one, guys, we'll do a little bit of first person and a little bit of uh, tr uh, camera and tripod action. Oh boy, guys, look at that. This is so cool. It's so awesome. We could have mods like this here in Farmston, but you guys can see, wow, it doesn't look like this was 
a really strong foundation. I mean, this is just falling right over, but hey, I mean, this is a big, big excavator. Wow, look at that. Almost like you're playing in a video game. It Alright guys, we got it demoed here. I think we're ready for the skid loader here. I just want to kind of load it into the dump truck. And this stuff, guys, costs quite a bit of money to uh, kind of haul it away and to dispose of it here. I think they're going to be charging us maybe uh, four or $500 for the truck load here because this has to all be kind of... Uh, uh, really broken up into small pieces, things like that. But we have our employee here. Let's have him. I think we should probably just have him move a little bit further forward and then maybe a little bit off the roadway here. But we just got a lot of rain recently and we definitely don't want a fully loaded uh, uh, truck with 20 tons uh, stuck as well. Good morning. Yeah, so I will be uh, loading you up now. If you just want to pull forward 10, 15 feet, get over an extra foot and a half, we should be good. And uh, you already know the uh, place to dispose of it right up the road. Awesome. Well, it should only take uh, about 10-15 uh, minutes and then you'll be on your way. Oh, look at that, guys. Our employee actually unchained the skid loader for us, which helped us out a lot here. Definitely gave us a little bit of extra time. Uh, that, that just takes uh, some time here, but it's definitely necessary. You don't want to be losing the skid loader uh, going down the road as well. But uh, we definitely have to have the high reach bucket here on it. The dump truck does a pretty tall sides, and then Takachi is limited here. Actually, all skid loaders... I uh, definitely just barely, barely kind of reach up there for that as well. But hey, let's see how much of a bucket load we can get here. Nice full bucket load. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is awesome. We should uh, take in bucket loads like this, guys. We'll be uh, probably 10, 15 bucket loads, and we are good to go here. But the question is, guys, are we able to kind of fully uh, unload it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. And then we do have a high dump feature. This is going to work perfectly. The demo part of the project, guys, is always a lot of fun here, but now we have to get it cleaned up here. And one thing I am noticing, guys, if we uh, end up running over a block or two, it's not the best here for the skid loader. You could actually hear it uh, kind of uh, scrape in the bottom of the undercarriage here, but we're doing a pretty good job here at it. You guys can see we're probably about halfway done here so far, but this is just a lot of fun. It, it's so cool we could do things like this here and farm some as well. And this is a really big skid loader, so it's handling these big bucket loads, no problem. I would probably estimate and we're probably at maybe almost a thousand pounds of bucket load here, and it sometimes gets a little tricky here. But hey, we'll keep at it here trying to get this all cleaned up.
Well guys, my camera is running low on battery here, so I think I'm just gonna get this uh, finished up here and then head on to the next job here. We're almost done, just have a little bit more. And then I actually have to get uh, the scheduling plan to get the uh, low boy with the semi to pick up the excavator, get it over to the next job here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, demo video here. It was a lot of fun here, definitely. Uh, a pretty unique one for sure here, but until next time guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.